This is Harry, Windy Hill Farms in the beautiful Florida Alps. And you can see him getting ready to uh, fill the uh, float with flotation foam. And you can see over there that I've got uh, um, my can of foam. I've got my black uh, protective gloves. And I've got my glues and, and primer for the end cap when I put the end cap on. Okay, here we go. And I have my stick for uh, uh, helping the you know, foam to fill the voids, helping the foam fill the voids. Okay, here we go. Shake it up again just a little bit. I wish I had the camera over here so you can see what I'm doing inside, but I think you get the picture. I'm just pushing the foam further and further and further and further down toward that end because it doesn't flow real well.
Okay, I think this is going to be my last squirt in here. Messy stuff. Mercy, mercy stuff. Yeah, I was just wiping off my glove a little bit and put a little bit more in here. Then put the end cap on. Almost out, the can's almost empty. Okay, now it is. The stuff is really messy, so you gotta be careful with it. When you get through with these rags, they're no good for much of anything else. Okay, so I've got this expanding foam in there, and it is expanding. I'm going to put the end cap on, and then leave it alone, let everything that's in there dry and harden and get firm around those braces that I put in there earlier that I showed you. So I'm putting the primer on for the PVC. I'm not sure the foam and the PVC primer like each other, but that's okay. If I were a professional, I'd get paid for this. After watching me, you can see why I'm not a professional and why I don't get paid for this. Oh, that's good. I got primer inside. <laughs> foam that's on these gloves is still causing my gloves to stick to everything. Don't you love it? Ah, I have sticky fingers.
blue glue everywhere. This is the cement. Cement inside the uh, end cap. I think I just uh, flung some glue to the other end of my workbench. Okay, now we're putting the end cap on the end of the pontoon of the float. And it says press down all the way and then turn, quarter of a turn. Yeah, right, like that's one turn. That's all I can do, folks. And then hold it in place 30 seconds. I'm glad it's only 30 seconds. Couldn't go much longer. About 15 seconds. 20. 25. Yeah, we'll call that 30. Uh, I'm sticking to everything. Take these off before I touch anything else. Especially my camera. I really think that that foam is melting these gloves. I'm not sure. So anyway, that's it. It's the uh, one float filled with the um, the uh, expanding flotation foam. It's, it's, it's really used for uh, for insulation in houses to fill big gaps and I filled the whole thing I took the rod rammed it down to the bottom kept on filling it up kept ramming it down to the toward the middle and then rammed it down some more and then filled up the top as it expanded toward the top I glued the the uh, the end cap on and if it continues to expand which it looks like it's doing it's going to come out these holes here around the supports of the crutch which is what I exactly what I want it to do okay so we'll see what happens all right, again, this is Harry. Thanks for watching. This is uh, up here at Windy Hill Farm in the beautiful Florida Alps. Y'all take care now.